Hello, in our last session, we looked at the English Language Enhancement Program for classes 4, 5 and 6. Now we are going to look at the progression into grammatical structures and other forms of communication in classes 7, 8 and 9. We will first start with class 7. Okay. They should be able to read similar themes with comprehension. Okay. Any theme that they are familiar with. Imagine they, they have a particular lesson which is based on Tenzing and Hillary's climb on Mount Everest. They should be able to read similar adventure stories and they should be able to comprehend it. Okay, comprehend it as in answer questions based on factual points in the lesson. They should be able to understand vocabulary contextually. Okay, and they should be able to do simple activities like completing the sentences, arranging the events in a logical order, these things. Now we introduce them to grammar. We introduce them to the English sentence structure. Okay, that is all we, we also will make them understand how unique English sentence structure is. Then we come to subject verb agreement. As of now, we will only look at the number. Okay, a singular subject and a singular verb and a plural subject and a plural verb and the different forms of subject verb agreement. Now we introduce them to verbs. That is the primary, okay, the primary, the helping and the full verbs. We will concentrate on those verbs only at this level. Now, a student should be gi given a theme which is based on the theme that they have already got in their textbook. Okay, it will be similar to that theme and the students should be able to speak on that theme. Alright, maybe not with complete accuracy in terms of grammar. Alright, but we must make sure that these grammatical features are not going wrong. We need to make sure that the student speaks, whatever the student speaks, the sentences are structurally correct. The subject and verb agree in terms of numbers and the verb is also correct. That means the use of the primary verb, the helping verb and of course the full verb is accurate. So that will be our focus area when they speak about a theme. Now let's move on to grade 8. Here again the student will be able to listen and read. Okay, read things with comprehension. But here we will slowly bring in independent themes. That is themes that may not be necessarily connected to what they have read. It could be even something as simple as a newspaper report. Okay, or it could be an article from a magazine. Right, which does not have anything to do with what they have read in their textbook. That means we are getting them to take interest in unfamiliar themes. Now in grammatical structure we introduce them to verbs and tenses. Okay, the focus will be on tenses. When to use present tense, when to use past tense, when to use future tense and how to blend the three. Okay, because whenever we speak for people who are fluent speakers of, a, of English, we blend in the tenses very comfortably. But for a person who's acquired the language and at this level where the person has just about developed some kind of a familiarity with the language, okay, they will find it difficult to move from one tense to another. Then we introduce them to adverbs, adjectives, prepositions and articles. Right? Help them to look at this. Right? Now we give them an independent theme and get them to speak about that theme or do a presentation on the theme. When they do this presentation on the theme, our focus will be on what they have covered here, sentence structure, subject verb agreement, verbs, okay, and of course the tense arrangement, all right, and appropriate use of adverbs and adjectives. We've got to make them understand that these words always enhance or make your presentation much better. Right? Now in grade 9, all right, grade 9, the student again should be able to listen and read. 
all right themes with good comprehension with proper comprehension and now we introduce them to active and passive voice we will also take them in sit to situations where an active voice is a preferred mode of communication or a, whether a passive mode is a preferred mode of communication we will also introduce them to direct and indirect speech okay after this can be introduced to them in the best way as to getting them to recall what was spoken to them by somebody it could be something as uh, you know as daily event as the principal speech every day in the morning or the principal speech on independence day correct so we get them to practice indirect speech like that they should be able to report a thing that has happened to you with objectivity you have to teach the students the difference between subjective and objective and how important it is to be objective in your communication objective communication means a communication which is completely free of emotion and a subjective communication becomes that communication where you express your opinion so both kind of reporting has to be taught to them all right because there are situations where they need to express their opinion on something that has happened so they should be encouraged to do that so here we are going to look at reports with both objectivity and subjectivity and of course the language structures that's going to be involved in that that is essentially passive active and reported speech formats right and once they reach this particular level they should be able to read a newspaper report and give you an analysis they should be able to read a article given in a magazine and give an analysis we don't have to pick up you know heavy articles like anything that involves contradictory or you know controversial things like politics or religion but definitely we can focus on you know people who have done heroic deeds because all along even through all these levels through 7 8 and 9 our aim is to develop the students personality too communication is not just about speaking proper language it is also about expressing a good and a sound value system so all throughout right from class grade 1 and till, till grade 9 our focus will always be on character building also so that students develop proper values they learn to express themselves with clarity and they they are able to communicate in a manner that people look forward to listen to them and to communicate with them i have not kept aside a special section for grade 10 because grade 10 whatever is going to be designed for the student will be based on their board curriculum of course a lot of uh, setups have done away with board examinations but then they still have a certain format a certain skill that they expect or there is a certain learning outcome that is expected at that age at that stage in class 10 the training will be completely focusing on those learning outcomes even here in grade 7 8 9 or even in grade 1 okay we will focus on what is the board suggestion of the learning outcome at each stage and create content accordingly however these are the general skills that we are going to concentrate on right thank you